One of the uh, interesting things we could see when looking at the uh, time trials at the Tour of California this year is um, the effective seat angles that uh, these road cyclists are riding at during the time trials. And, you know, there's still, amazingly enough, some controversy out there about whether a, a forward position is the way to ride in the aero position, whether you should be riding at a steep seat angle or not. And, of course, we all know that these road cyclists um, ride at 73 degrees plus or minus on their road bikes uh, all day long. Um, we also know that they're limited by the UCI as, as far as how far forward their nose or their saddles can be. They have to be um, at least five centimeters behind the bottom bracket, which is just simply a ridiculous rule. Uh, and, we'll, of course, we'll, we'll see why here. Let's start out by looking at um, Tyler Farrar here. And we can plot, if we plot where his sit bones are approximately, um, we're getting his effective seat angle at 79, 80 degrees. So very steep, typical of a, of a triathlon position. And, um, but we see to do that, that he's got himself slid forward on the saddle maybe as much as 10 centimeters. Uh, thanks again, of course, to the uh, UCI limitation on as far as to how far, far forward he can have the saddle. Um, so it, it's, it's clear that looking at this rider, that, that, that regardless of what the UCI says, that they're, that they're riding very far forward. And I'm going to show you several other of the top riders uh, as well. Uh, so the, the UCI rule is clear, clearly ridiculous. Um, these bikes are designed to be ridden this far forward. The riders want to ride there. And one issue um, they're presented with is their saddle height. Are they set up uh, for the proper saddle height when sitting in the normal saddle position, or are they set up for the proper saddle height and knee angle when they're in this forward position? Uh, if he's sliding forward on the saddle as much as 10 centimeters, his saddle height's dropping by as much as 3 centimeters relative to his normal seating position. And when I look at uh, several of these riders, it appears that some of them compensate for this, Tyler being one of them. Um, I think his, his knee angle is good, his saddle height is good in this forward position. Um, but some of them look uh, very low to me when, they're, uh, when they pull themselves forward on the saddle. So that, that gives them the, uh, the conundrum of, of, you know, do they set themselves up to be at the optimal knee angle sitting back on the saddle? or sitting forward on the saddle. But let's, let's look at some other riders. We can look at uh, Floyd Landis here, who didn't have, uh, hasn't had great results uh, this tour. His time trials have been, frankly, a bit disappointing, I think. And um, if we look at his position, though, we can see, you know, arrow-wise, it looks quite good. We can also see that, that uh, once again, if we plot the uh, position of his approximate position of his sit bones that, that he also is sitting somewhere around 80, 81 degrees. We take into consideration the fact that the, uh, the bike might be tilted here. Nah, it's, it's, it's close to level. It might be tilted up a degree or so, so he's really even sitting a degree steeper than that. Um, so once again, we see him sitting at 81 degrees. We also see that, that he's forward on the saddle, uh, again, maybe you know, 7 to 10 centimeters. So again, lowering his saddle height 2 or 3 centimeters. Now Floyd is actually one who appears to have gone the other direction, that, that he even looks too high to me on a saddle when he's, when he's up here on the nose. And you can especially see how, how darn high he is when he slides back on the saddle here. Here he is um, sitting, he slid himself back into the normal position for whatever reason, uh, maybe just saddle comfort or whatever here temporarily. And we can see that his leg is almost fully extended. Uh, so, you know, back here he's clearly too high. And up in the front, he, by all my measures, he's still too high. So that might have something to do with his, um, with his fairly poor results. But in any case, we can see that he is sitting very forward, uh, something in the, the 80 degree plus range. Let's look at uh, David Zabriskie in the uh, Sulvang uh, time trial here. And uh, same thing, obviously, pulled very far forward on the saddle. Uh, we've, we're a little behind him here, uh, so that's going to change the angle slightly. But clearly, uh, I've plotted him before, and this is typically, he's sitting you know, well over 80 degrees, uh, super far forward to accommodate his very low position in the front. 
Uh, so, you know, we could plot him at, at certainly north of 80 degrees, 83, 84. And you also get the feeling here, it looks like, that the, the bike is actually tilted up a few degrees. So he's probably sitting even steeper than that when we get right down to it. Um, so it's, it's extremely forward. Once again, probably got 10 centimeters of saddle sticking out behind him. Uh, so um, clearly, an, clearly an issue. He's one who has also adjusted so that his saddle height is proper when he is in this forward position. So it's, when he sits back, it's going to be quite high for him. We can see the other trend that these guys were all showing here um, for these short time trials. Remember, the longest one only took him about half an hour, and that is the elbows jammed together uh, and the, um, putting the head down in the hands. They all their hands up, I think, as high as the uh, UCI Another great UCI rule allows them to put their hands up here, so they are sticking their head down, uh, their face down, and their arms as much as possible to uh, to uh, close this off and, and present more of a bullet shape. Not something that you're going to want to do for a triathlon. Uh, this is uh, not a comfortable position for long periods of time. You know, maybe in a sprint race or something, but. Uh, but um, over any great period of time, this, this will absolutely uh, kill your shoulders. You can look at Levi, same thing, sitting at uh, 80, certainly 80 degrees, maybe 81 degrees if we take into account the, uh, the uh, slope of the bike here and the slope of the road. So again, very steep, uh, slid forward on the saddle. Uh, he's got uh, certainly six, seven, eight centimeters of saddle sticking out behind him. Uh, Levi's one where, it's, where he actually looks a little bit low in his forward position, but every time I've looked at him, he, he looks a little bit low, so that may be uh, just the way he prefers to ride. But clearly, um, you know, very, very forward position. So there really shouldn't be any controversy as far as, as uh, whether a forward position is effective or the most effective position in, uh, in, a, in a time trial.